This one just makes me so sad because it's so close, but it's like everything's just slightly wrong and it hurts my soul. Brig and Jane here. I like what I like and I hope you like it too. Today we're gonna take a look at some bathroom remodels. Bathroom remodels can be some of the scariest things to watch. We're gonna go all around the world for this one and see how they did. Hey, small bathroom renovation. I'm already kind of scared here. Sometimes you can tell by the text color choice usage on the beginning of the video how much creativity they have to share with the world. Backed up again by the music choice. Because tomorrow we're moving on up. Oh, she's making this a celebration. This is bathroom renovation eve, which I can only assume is like Christmas Eve. Let me tell you, redoing your bathroom is nothing like Christmas. Okay, we like her already, I think, if she hires somebody, because she has all the materials ready to go. That's where you can do it yourself. You can order the tile. You can get the grout, faucet, the sink, and have it all ready for a trained professional. She might be the smartest one yet. I literally just skipped like four minutes of this video. We're still on photos of the tiles, boxes. Oh no, and now I can finally see the tile and she might be good at planning, but I'm not sure she's good at style. I'm gonna have to start a correlation video on video production versus bathroom reno because right now on video production, we're at like negative 100. Sweetie, just vertical cell phone video. Just turn it to the side, please. Oh my God. Wait, this whole video is just a person standing there going like this with their camera after the plumber left. Literally, I'm getting full wall, but there's nothing happening on it except for a few like patched stucco areas. Oh, but our so, video just turned. I don't know how to tell you this, but I never really liked you that much. And it's really, it's not you, it's me. She's breaking up with her old bathroom is all I think is happening or this is turned into like a dating confessional. Um, you're being replaced, so. She's breaking up with the bathroom she's already taken out. What do you think dating this girl is like? For those of you that live very far into the future, this is what happens when we've had zero social contact and been quarantined for over a year. I, don't, I literally don't know where to start because she installed and redid a bathroom but somehow managed to make it look like a bathroom that needs to be redone. The sink looks great, that's about it. Everything else that she managed to like update and install looks like it's outdated and needs to be reinstalled. Also note to anyone designing and remodeling currently. You know that little ledge of design that used to go around a bathroom? You don't need that anymore. Don't put it back in. <laughs> Just because you retile something doesn't mean it looks better. Please don't make me watch another design video where I have to redo what you just did. So this is an ensuite makeover. The word ensuite just makes this seem promising. Okay, but first of all, in your ensuite, why is something plugged into the wall and then balled up into the sink? She's cute. I like her little pearl halo. I want her eyebrow game. I love that she's trying to do an affordable, on-budget style makeover. I can't wait for the makeover video that's like, I'm gonna spend as much money as I can. Ooh, she previewed us on this laundry room and I, I think she's got talent. The nice thing is she has a small bathroom with a good layout and her laundry room turned out good. I'm hoping this is better. The personal lives revealed in these videos is just always so fun. Like, do I really wanna know what that is sitting next to her toilet? Okay, so basically she's taking eight minutes to tell us that she didn't do anything but paint and clean, which is cheap. Surprise. Slash vanity. Is somebody showering in the background? Do you guys hear that? And the mirror of the ensuite. So this. I swear, James, who just took down that sink, is just trying to get a shower right up. So she ended up going with a normal rectangular sink, like squished down. There's a lot of sink options that you can get that are pedestal or tiny or made for small spaces that are more visually interesting than just trying to shrink the normal profile that you're used to. About $180 from this online eBay store that I will link below. Ooh, but she is doing good with budget because $180 for an odd size sink and cabinet is good shopping. Gold fixtures, gold fixtures, they make me dance. <laughs> I love a gold fixture in a bathroom, like, thank you. And what I love is that she spent $50 on this gold fixture and only 180 on the sink and the cabinet. But look at that, she's barely done anything and that gold fixture has already changed everything. 
hubby back there with the tattoos, no shirt on. The, um, matte black. Hubby, what you trying to make us think about? I've never seen that tool or know what it's used for, just so you know. Comments. She is finished, I knew that. She delivered what she said she was gonna do, an affordable, easy budget renovation on a small bathroom. I think this is where people get confused. They think a bathroom renovation should be like a whole new bathroom. No, she took something that worked and just made it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Yeah, my only tip to you is epoxy paint the tile now. Get rid of that design, but for a quick, easy update that was efficient and very affordable. Woof, can we move on to the next one already? I think I just saw a 3D rendering of what they're planning to turn this into and that is overly ambitious considering I'm pretty sure this is like one of those hot water things that's like connected to the electricity. That does not look safe back there. Like look at all those knobs. There's like, what are the knobs coming out of the wall next to the toilet for? What is this bathroom, a Ukrainian prison cell? This is like where your instant hot is connected to live electricity. I'm pretty sure this is not in the US. If it is, it's definitely illegal. Like why, if you don't have basic electricity, you don't need the perfect designed bathroom. Bro, there are so many live wires in this bathroom right now. Oh, I love the shoes with the socks. Those are definitely rated for code. Um, I'm not sure why the toilet is like concrete <laughs> into this flooring, but typically you can replace toilets without needing to jackhammer it out of the concrete. Meanwhile, in Kazakhstan, I kind of wish I was allowed to do this kind of plumbing in the US because this is like smart thinking. They're just gonna map this out, they're gonna put it in the walls, they're gonna clean it up. There is no inspector who's gonna be called on this one. He's just like, the pipes go in here while I stand on a table in flip flops and socks. If you tried to do that here, like stand on a table in flip flops and socks and do construction, you'd be so fired so fast. But so far this looks efficient. This is where pipes are supposed to go, in your walls and in your floor, not live electrical hanging in your bathroom. You guys, he's got his sunglasses on indoors and those flip flops to make this bathroom happen. At this point, I'm expecting miracles. You better hope he never has a leak. Um, is he giving me heated floors right now? This bathroom's gonna go straight from like electricity hanging in the walls to like heated flooring. Do you see that tile in the back? Perfect color, great size. Why did we have to put a texture like nick in the middle of it and just ruin the whole thing? You guys see that? Like the vertical nick? What is this diamond plated steel overlay? What? Why have we purposely brought electrical through the wall in that back wall? That's confusing me now. They're, they're really good at tile. I would hire them for tile installation only. See, even they understand installing glass is always better than hanging a curtain. But this is the perfect use of when you maybe should hang a curtain. They have tiled this thing beautifully. They've picked a nice gray and white, but it's like, Everything's just slightly wrong and it hurts my soul. This one just makes me so sad because it's so close. It's like so close. Remember how I was waiting for somebody who was gonna spend all the money they could? I think we found the bathroom. Well, I think that's by far the biggest makeover we've seen and the most money spent, but they did a great job. They need to hone in on their design skills a little bit more. There's some easy fix mistakes there, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty good job there. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Designer Reacts. Don't forget to follow me, at Regan Jane, on social media. If you're not subscribed, click the button below. We don't want you to end up a victim of someone else's design leftovers.